Hey guys, it's Dennis here with Grass Monkey Lawn Care. Coming at you with a video this evening, guys. It's December 20th, 2017, guys. So, what I've been doing lately is I've been sitting down, looking over what I want to do for setting goals for 2018. I sat back and looked at my first year in business, and then this season being my second year in business, and took the good and the bad and kind of thought about a lot of things, and kind of decided to set my goals based off what I've experienced, what I've learned, and want to apply that for my third year in business. So my first goal, guys, going to 2018 is I want to double my business in size. What do I mean by that? Okay, so as far as my mowing list goes, I want to double that. I want to try and achieve 150 customers for next season just for mowing. And I also want to explore into other avenues besides just mowing, guys. I want to help bump my revenue up by doing other stuff besides just going out mowing lawns all, you know, every day. I want to start doing more landscape work, landscape designs, installs, tear outs, getting more commercially involved with businesses on that stuff. And also, I want to start doing some more stuff like patios, uh, you know, walkways out into like people's gardens and stuff like that. Just some things that can help generate a little bit more income into your business. Now, this past season, I was able to do that, but not at the level that I want to take it into next season. And also, I want to get into more sod uh, work. I do enjoy doing that. It is hard work, but you do reap the rewards as far as when you get paid for it. I, you know, I don't mind doing it. You can usually get it done pretty quick if you have enough people. So that's something else I want to kind of bring into my business and I want to really advertise for is doing sod and more landscape work, guys. And like I said, doubling my mowing list for that year. Uh, so we're looking at about 150 clients or so for mowing. And also something else I want to do, guys, I want to get my business more organized this year. You know, it seems like whenever you're doing things by yourself, you, you're doing everything, you're answering the phones, you're doing the pay, you know, the books, you know, you're doing the estimates, you're actually doing out there doing like every aspect of the business and you know, you get home and you're so tired, like you just, things that you've been using throughout the season kind of get scattered here, 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 and there. So I'm going to streamline my business and simplify some things in my business. How am I going to do that? First thing I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to hire somebody full-time going to 2018. I will have one full-time guy with me next season. And if things will grow at the rate I think they will, I'll probably end up hiring a part-time guy uh, to kind of help on certain things too. I have him around maybe two days a week, three days a week, depending on the workload. That's a goal I have set for myself. I want to have that done. Uh, I can tell you guys, I've just this past season trying to do everything myself. I gave away 35 accounts, guys, that I couldn't handle because I was I felt like I was maxed out. I couldn't take on any more. That's 35 potential customers I could have had if I just hired somebody. But I didn't want to take that jump quite yet. Now I'm ready to take that jump. I know in order for me to grow my business, I have to hire someone to help me out because um, I don't want to you know just maintain and be comfortable at you know. The 70 customer rate. I want to, you know, take this business and grow it. And the only way you can really do that in my mind is to, you know, you have to add in, you know, things that will help you achieve that goal. And one of those things is, you know, hiring employees. I mean, it's just a must at this point going into year three. That's the only way I can see myself taking on the business I want to take on and doing the extra side work stuff that I need to do that will free me up to take on more business. You know, that will help double, like I said, the income into the business, which will be able to afford to pay for these kinds of things. And, you know, so as far as being organized, guys, I'm really thinking about hiring an accountant, you know, letting them handle all my stuff from my books. That's something I just, I'm not real great at. I don't, something I really don't enjoy either, uh, to be honest with you. That's one of the parts of the business that's just something, that, it's not my favorite thing to do. So I'm thinking about, you know, talking to an accountant and letting them, you know, handle the payroll part of it and just the, the books of it, you know, all my receipts and stuff. I just turn it to them and basically they're just doing the financial work of my business um, they give me my numbers and I kind of put that into my computer and handle it on that side of it, but let them do all the other stuff as far as the tax stuff and the payroll stuff and all that. Like I said, I mean, it's something I'm, you know, I'm not great at. I'm a firm believer. You concentrate on what you're great at and then you, you outsource things that you're, you're not so great at that someone else is really good at. And that way it takes a little bit off your shoulders. It frees you up too. you know, in the evenings you're not sitting, you know, down trying to get all that stuff done. You're able to spend more time with your family, go do things outside of it, you know, kind of get that that comfort level back into your life so you don't get burnt out, you know, mid season, you know, cause you're, you're grinding so hard and trying to do everything. Um, so that's another goal guys, as far as being organized is taking care of the, the paperwork side of it, outsourcing that out to somebody else and letting them handle that. Now, along with me doing that, I'm also wanting to streamline my expenses in my business. Now, when I say that, you know, I'm using companies like signpost to help with the reviews and, you know, on my online presence, I'm going to do away with that company come January. The reason being it did okay for me. It did, you know, what it was supposed to do. But I mean, basically it was a really driven program to help drive in reviews in the business. Now the city I live in, as far as just the lawn care and landscaping part, 
I double or triple the amount of reviews that any other company has besides companies like True Green and the big national like spraying companies that have a ton of reviews. But as far as what we do, as far as mowing landscape work and stuff like that, I have a ton of reviews. So I just don't feel the need to spend the money and push that money out to somebody else on something like that where I don't feel like it's needed anymore at that point. So instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that off and just streamline it into things that the business really, really needs that I need to focus on to help grow it. One of those things, guys, is another goal I have set. We're going to redesign my website. Uh, we're going to get that done. We're going to put it into WordPress, make it look really nice. The reason being on why I'm doing that, too, is I did a GoDaddy website, guys. I built it myself, and it, it does okay. You know, it functions as a website. You know, I don't think it's great by any means, but it functions. It's gotten me business. It's got me ranked in Google. But it's time to take it to the next level and have someone who is really great at doing websites take over that for me. And then they're going to do some small SEO work on, you know, not a lot, but just a little bit here and there to kind of help me out on that. So that kind of takes the, you know, that part of it off my shoulders and I'm letting them do that. So you can see what I'm kind of doing, what my big focus is going to next season is focusing on what I'm great at and taking care of that part of it. And then the stuff that I'm not so great at, I'm going to let this person and this person handle um, that's just a big goal I have for next season. I'm really trying to lighten the load off my shoulders as far as that stuff goes. And I have someone I already, you know, lined up that's going to take care of the website and the SEO work. I was talking to one company, but I found another company that was a lot better, especially on price. I trust this company. I know who these people are. Um, so that's who I'm going to use for that. And I will reveal all that later to you in another video. Once we get that stuff done, I'll show you who did it and what it looks like. But that's what we're doing on that avenue to help grow the business also for next season. So that's kind of my goals, guys. I mean, also, I want to go ahead and I want to, you know, set goals for YouTube also. Since I'm doing this, I'm putting the videos out. I like to set goals for the channel. I've always said, you know, I'm not in it just to make, you know, some huge channel or big channel. As you can tell, I mean, I'm not, the, you know, the 10,000 subscriber channel. I mean, we're, I think we're at 883 right now, and I do appreciate every one of you guys who do watch my videos and do subscribe and leave likes and comments on the videos. But we're going to set a, you know, a subscriber goal for next season, which we're going to put it at uh, 1.6K for next season. That's my goal. I want to double the YouTube channel, basically, is what I'm trying to do on that. And the only way I can do that is by putting good content out that you want to see, putting a lot of content out and quality stuff. So that's the goal for YouTube, guys, on that. And as far as equipment goes, guys, I am going to, you know, I am buying another mower next season. I mean, I just have to. Um, mowers I'm looking at, guys, I'm looking at, you know, like a 52 to 60 inch uh, walker, uh, either side discharge or rear discharge mower. Uh, or, you know, I'm still open, you know, to the skags too. Um, and on top of that too, with the equipment, if I, you know, with buying another mower, I am going to buy another trailer big enough to hold. I want to take every single mower with me every day, no matter what the situation is, I can have all my mowers on my trailer. I don't have to switch anything out. I don't have to come home at night and pull stuff on, pull stuff off. I want all my mowers on one trailer, just a one-stop shop, hook up and go. Uh, it's going to be more efficient that way having three mowers on there. So like say I have some, you know, acreage to mow or something like that. Boom, I got the 60 or 52 I can mow with. If I'm doing my, you know, some residential, I can pull the 48 walker off. I have the 36 skag that I can use. I'll have it all on my trailer. Now, as far as time frame, as far as buying that equipment, guys, I'm not quite sure yet. I'd like to get it done, hopefully by April or May at the latest. Get that other mower added in and somehow get another trailer put in there. But guys, it takes money to buy these things. And then, of course, as you guys all know, this stuff is not cheap to buy. It is very expensive when it comes to buying trailers and mowers. I mean, just in those two items, we're probably looking seven, eight thousand dollars worth of stuff I gotta buy. Um, and I'm not buying a new walker, guys. I can't afford to go and do that. So I know you guys are gonna, oh, you just need to buy a new mower, man. I can't drop 13k on another on a brand new walker mower. There's no way. You know, the trailer I'm gonna have to buy probably new, and that's gonna cost probably around two grand to twenty five hundred dollars somewhere in there. Um, but we're probably looking at probably like an 18-foot trailer somewhere in there. And, you know, at that point, too, as you guys can tell, my garage back here, this trailer barely fits in here. That's a 14-foot trailer. So what does that mean? Something else on the agenda for next season is getting this stuff out of my garage. I want my house back to my house, my home life, separation between home, work. So i got to find a way to either get a very, very, very secure storage uh, place or I'm going to have to find a shop or something like that or talk to some people and see what I can work out as far as storing my equipment. But it's going to have to be extremely safe. Um, you know, 
I, my biggest fears and with storage units is people getting their stuff jacked and it just happened to somebody on YouTube. I do not want that because I will shut you down quick and in a hurry because you have to wait for all the insurance stuff to come through. All your livelihood stuff is gone. So I'm definitely exploring that, but that is something I'm going to take very slowly in finding what I need. And it is very safe and secure. And I know that my equipment will be safe. Granted, this stuff's insured, guys, but you don't want your stuff jacked. Just don't want that. So that's something else we're looking at for next season, too. So I have a lot of stuff set up for next season. Um, and the only way I can make that happen, guys, is through a lot of hard work, dedication, and, like I said, streamlining my business down and concentrate what I'm great at and letting other people do what they're great at. Spending money wisely, cutting and leaning out the expenses on that stuff. And, you know, I'm just, I have to do that in order to put money back into the business. Uh, that's the only way I can really do that. So that's my, that's my video, guys. That's my goals for the season. I just wanted to share that with you. Uh, if you guys have any comments, feel free to leave them down below. I would like to know if you guys have any ideas for videos coming up you'd like to see. I will have ample time as the temperatures here are going to take a dramatic turn. We're getting all that Arctic air coming down very quickly. Next week, we're talking about like 15 to 20 degrees difference in temperature here. Uh, we've been living a good life in Kansas lately in the wintertime, but that's all about to go back to regular Kansas weather. So uh, I'm looking forward just to kind of hanging out the house and uh, doing that kind of thing and, you know, making videos. And you guys let me know what you want to see. I'll make videos for you. I'm going to do probably some review stuff since I have the time. I'll probably review my uh, 580 Husqvarna backpack blower, and I have another uh, trimmer to do a review on that I used all season two. So look forward to those videos coming out soon, guys, also. And as always, guys, I want to thank everybody for watching these videos. I really, truly appreciate it. New subscribers, thank you so much for watching the channel. And as always, guys, have a safe and great holiday with your families. Be safe out there if you're traveling. And as always, guys, thanks a lot.